Patel. Let me start off with a guy in the uh, 18 to 34 demographic here, Cider, because I remember you said you were a fan of the previous movie here. What is your uh, thoughts on kind of, uh, I guess, the objections to doing a Barbarella movie? And do you think that they'll find a way to screw it up, considering the fact they don't have anyone creative attached to the film just yet? Uh, first of all, Barbarella is my favorite movie ever. Uh, it ever. is dumb. It is uh, horrendously paced, and it makes no sense in most points. She has sex with an angel, and the angel is blind, and yet he flies. I can't. There's no. There's no reasoning. There's no reasoning at all. Mm -hmm. the, the the leader of the evil city that's chock full of evil lava lamp that makes everybody evil. Can I stress the evil part yet? Because that's yeah. what they do throughout the whole movie. They have to keep reminding you that everybody in the city is evil. Because, you know, whatever. How Italian. else are you going to know? But this new movie, right? Mm -hmm. I, they Worrying about it being over-sexualized, Barbarella fucks her way to her goal, okay? She lands mm -hmm. on the planet, and the first encounter with the opposite sex, she fucks him. He's just a fur man. He's, he's more furry than the jacket he wears. Okay, you can't tell he's taking the fur jacket off when the sex scene shows up. And of course, Bob Rell is like, oh, I've never had actual sex before. And then she's singing afterwards. He's literally standing outside, putting his clothes back on like, aha, I just had sex and it felt so good. And she's inside like, la, 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 fur. You know, this whole thing, right? But it repeats four more times in the movie. She even takes a pill with a weird dorky guy. Looks like Rick Moranis, but discount. Discount Rick Moranis. And their hair goes all weird and fuzzy because it's the sex pill from Earth. Yeah, all right? Yeah. So it's, you didn't, there's you, literally... You, go ahead. Oh, 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 I was to say, um, you haven't even touched on orgasmo. I mean, where, where yeah, she's getting... The, a, the, the she's organ... Getting the electronic organ the villain plays, Duran Duran, by the way, the villain Duran Duran... Uh, plays that strips her, but it's not enough because she's so insatiable. The machine lights on fire. So when you go and you say like, "Oh, you want Bob Rowe to get sexualized?" There's literally a musical instrument that strips the clothing off of her and orgasmates her. Okay, orgasmo. Yeah. That's the name of it, I believe. Yeah, and the, and the or the orgasmatron or something. Yeah. What kind of woman are you? Like, this sounds like a fucking cheesy porn plot. It is that <laughs> close to a porno. It is that. Look, the villain lady, her costume has like a vagu window, okay? But it's all fogged up because she has the lesbian scenes with Barbarella, and you know they had to rehearse those. So it's all fogged up throughout the movie. Her vagina window, it's like it's like Power Girls thing, but it's got a dome over it, I guess, because somebody thought that was a good idea to hermetically seal a vagina. I don't know. But anyway, to, so to go in like, yeah, we're not going to sexualize Barbarella. Cool. So we're going to make a Star Wars movie where there's no R2-D2, there's no lightsabers, and there's no da 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 Okay, cool. That's what you're doing when you strip the sex out of Barbarella. It's one of my favorite movies because it's so stupid trying to get her to have sex with every mild protagonist she comes across. It, it, so oh, it, it, the whole guy. reason why the whole reason why they're objecting to this is because, like I said, it's the idea that there may be men like me and you that go out there and be like, "Oh, this hot actress is playing this over ridiculous uh, sexualized plot where she might be showing some revealing calling. I might actually pay fourteen dollars to see that." It's like, no, no, we can't have stuff like that. And, and Cassie, I want to throw this over to you because you got into a big argument about this a few weeks back with the whole uh, controversy about Tanya and some of the Mortal Kombat characters who or let's just say uglified in order to uh, downplay some of the, like, the male gaze. And this is something that they've been doing for like a while here is like this idea that we can't have boobs in a Mortal Kombat game, but we can show you a scene of someone like, getting their heart ripped out and then the other person like eating it above their rotten corpse. It's like, that's fine, but yeah, any kind of sexuality, hey, we can't have that now. It's 2023. Like, what is this? Is this just the, like a war against pretty women? Like, is this just jealous uggos who don't want anyone hotter than them to uh, be featured in major roles now? Is this where we're at? now it's uh it's a lot of different things there are you know ugly ass women that are being put in places of power and they do apparently uh tend to feel some type of way it is modern feminism uh, going full force and alleviating the male gaze it, it's a lot of things and and it does hurt women that tend to use uh their 
their you know their figures or their pretty faces to to get where they are and, miles. you know yeah yeah like it's it's one of those things where the fact that they try to put women into a box show like this tiny little box like you can only do this stuff this has essentially destroyed a lot of women's careers in acting um a lot of women haven't been able to even show off their acting chops particularly because well they've been put into this box in which they can't really do anything um you know from a drama aspect more than anything else it's like you must be action bitch that 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 has no actual character arc action at all bitch. in I every like fucking thing it, it's so bitch. this fall it, it really is one of those things where it does hurt women in the end going down this route and guess what at the end of the day i think uh hollywood's really feeling it at the box office men are uninterested and any like feminist led film barbie being a perfect example the only reason why these films are a success is if you can get men to go out there and fucking watch the thing so i think they're getting hip to some of that uh, to me, Barbarella, if that's what they want to make, if there is an audience for that, if the actress is willing to do that of her own free will, then why the hell not? Uh, there, mm -hmm. You know, it, it's just I don't really see the point in forcing women into a box, uh, forcing them to abide by a very certain st set of rules. Uh, mm -hmm. There's, you know, and as we've seen with, you know, um, Twitch, Kick. Uh, you yeah. know, cam girl sites. There's clearly an audience for this type of shit. So. <laughs> and I'll bring up a point here that Kate mentions too. These are the same people who don't want to appeal to the male gaze whatsoever, but they'll empower people who are on OnlyFans and are on Twitch and stuff like that who do the exact same thing because, well, they're doing it on their own terms. They're getting paid for that. It's like, I'm sorry, is this actress not getting paid to be in this movie? So it's like, it's like, oh no, the the men are forcing her to do it. It's like you're just gonna find some way to try to like, to try to like Jedi mind trick your worldview into reality when it just comes to the fact that you don't want, uh, you hate men so much, you don't want anything that gives them joy, and you really don't want to uh, prop up an actress that make you uh, look feel bad about yourself because you're not as pretty as her. Like there's people like we've heard this argument on Twitter for a while. Uh, if you don't know the name Sydney Sweeney, she's on the show Euphoria, who also happens to be on the same show as uh, Zendaya as well and there's actually a legit movement on social media that anyone who believes that Sydney Sweeney is more attractive than Zendaya that they're racist because she's white and then the other girl's only half white so it make that make sense <laughs>